and friends. It's Sylvia with Running with Needles and Scissors and it is Saturday, May 2nd. It's right around 2 p.m. You may hear singing and whistling in the background and that is my husband cleaning the kitchen and uh, I will gladly take the singing and the noise making if the kitchen is clean after that. So hey, that's sort of his thing. He cleans the kitchen. I mess it up with cooking and he cleans it. I think it's a good deal. Anyways, so where, what has happened in one week's time? Not much, but I am here today to share with you my plans for the first week of Mania, which I already started yesterday. Also the winners of um, the giveaways uh, from the uh, Whip Parade movie, movies, <laughs> videos. And then the haul that has finally come, and also my progress that I've made on the things that I have stitched in the last couple weeks, and not in that order that I just talked about at all. Not at all. So, why don't we start off with the winners? And I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for all the lovely comments and the subscribes and it was just it was just such a treat for me to read everything um, the mistake I made was that I didn't reply right away and I should have or I, I didn't heart them all right away um, I was like I'll take a quiet moment when I can reply and then things just piled up and it was it was hard catching up. So I'm, I think I'm almost all caught up except for possibly the brand new comments that came in just in the last couple of days. But again, thank you so much, you guys. I know commenting takes time and I appreciate every single comment and they just made my day. Thank you. All right, I used the comment picker app, I believe, to get um, the random comment that won uh, one of the four things. And I will just start off with, <gasps> here we go. Oh my goodness. Wait, that was not good. Okay, I'll probably not edit that out. That's real life. That happens sometimes. What, what I'm using to um, get my iPad high enough is actually my uh, case creation Z uh, frame holder and so I can just put the uh, iPad in the clamp and tighten it far enough not too tight but tighten it enough so that it holds the iPad and then I straighten out the arm and it gets high enough and it's worked well for me so far except just now when it almost tipped over because I have it propped up a little higher always so professional all right the first giveaway was Mary Good Sampler uh, 1827, and this is by Sassafras Samplers. Um, I had 45 comments, and Kathy Madrid is the winner. So Kathy, and this goes for all other winners as well, I am going to leave a comment on your comment, and you can either get a hold of me through YouTube or through Instagram, which I am hurrymom26 there. And I've been hurrymom for a really long time and we are going to keep it that way. I'm not gonna change that. So there's that one. The next one was the Cat Roundy, the Sampler Roundy by Kitten Stitcher or Shakespeare's Peddler. And that had 16 uh, responses and the winner there is Nupur. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Again, we'll comment on yours, etc. Number three was Emma Mills, by, uh, 1839 by The Scarlet House. And that one was 17 responses. And that was Novella McCracken. Isn't that a great name? Novella McCracken. All right. The last one was The Spring Bird by Jeanette Douglas with, I believe, enough threads to do it again. So to stitch this again with my leftover thread. And that one also got 16 responses. And the winner there is, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna have to do it in French because I think it's a French name. Vachon Bouchard, V-A-C-H-O-N and then B-O-U-C-H-A-R-D. I pronounce it Vachon Bouchard. 
We'll see if that is even in the ballpark. So there we have it. Now, also, I rolled over 500 a little while ago and uh, was a, a lot faster than I thought. And so I was trying to think of what is a nice thank you for all you guys that have subscribed. And I think what I'm going to do is a $25 gift certificate to your LNS um, so that we can support your LNS. And what I would like you to use there is the three letters LNS. And just tell me a little bit about your LNS. And that would be great. I'd love to find out. My LNS would be the Stitch Niche in Arlington because we used to live in the Fort Worth area. And that is my LNS. And they are really great. So they've done some framing for me uh, way back when, when I lived there. Um, that's always a fond memory when I, when I can look around and some of these things have been framed by my friends. Okay, the second thing on the schedule is my progress. And um, this is my morning stitch. I just really enjoy stitching on this. It's so much fun. It's not the easiest but I really like it. This is Fractor Friends by Shakespeare Peddler. It's being stitched on 40 count um, silk gauze. And so, aren't these ladies fun? Um, so I have a trainer whom, uh, I know it sounds you know a little pompous and whatnot, but I have just really found that when I work out and I have a trainer working with me, first of all, he makes sure that I do it correctly and I don't injure myself. And second of all, I work out so much more intensely and harder than I would on my own. Because the minute it starts hurting, I'm like, eh, I'm done, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to do any reps. And so since I'm not running right now, um, Due to my hip being uneven and so running just really aggravates all the muscles around it and we're working I'm working with a chiropractor to um, straighten that out and, and the good news is it can be straightened out and eventually I'll, I'll be able to run again we decided that we would um, do some weightlifting and we've been working on weightlifting uh, these last couple weeks and yesterday I What's it called in English? Well, I lifted my own body weight, so that was really good. I, uh, the deadlift, so you know, you, you bend down and you pick and you hold on to the big bar and then you, bleh, you straighten back up and, and that's about the sound I make <laughs> when I lift that stuff. And it's really hard on your hands is actually uh, where I'm suffering the most. And uh, I've been putting on gloves and my trainer's always like, gloves are for weenies. And I said, you know, I have to stitch afterwards and you know, these things are, give me calluses and you know I work with silk and I have all kinds of excuses but really what it is, is is my hands really hurt a lot if I don't wear gloves and it's also really hard to hang on to that much weight just by wrapping your your hands around the bar and I have very little hands so um, all kinds of obstacles but anyway so his point was for Fractor Friends and this is by Shakespeare Peddler is that these two ladies look like they're doing that you know the the bodybuilder String. I'm like, no, he said it's primitive. But anyway, so this is where I am again. The two ladies are enjoying their time together and um, they will now have to amuse themselves on their own because they're going into, not timeout, but they're just gonna be put on hold for the month of May due to mania. The other thing I've been working on is G. Leger uh, by, um, Reflect the Soie, and I really like that. It was supposed to be a stitch along. I don't know who else is stitching it, to be honest. I'm gonna have to get my pattern out of the way. Woo. Again, second time. Anyway, so this is where I'm at. This is the little bit of progress I made. I am very pleased with my colors. I am using the Gloriana conversion, and um, those little swirly letters, they take a little bit. They're not so easy, and that a, I had to stitch like three times before I finally got it correctly. Oh. So what I usually do when I have to rip something out, I just take my scissor and cut it. And I brought my scissor um, to show you because it's by far my favorite scissor. I, I have Dovo's, Premax, Premax I really like. Um, oh my gosh, Ginger. I have all kinds of scissors. 
the ones I'm going to show you are my absolute faves. So here are the colors. This is, there it is. Those are the, the silks from Gloriana. Here are the other colors up top. And then there's a few more on this card. And it's really, really nice. I, I will have to say the red, you know, the red sticks out. I mean, that's a bright color, but everything else I think is, is starting to blend really nicely. So this will be put also on hold through the month of May. I plan on picking these up immediately when, I, when I'm when um, i finished with Mania. Now, I said, um, did I mention that some haul came? Well, anyway, some haul came. Um, super excited about what did come. Uh, there's quite a bit missing, but it's gonna come eventually, so I'm okay. Um, from the attic, I ordered the Dutch Steps Duo by GGR and Needlework Press. And when that came in the house, this is the big one from GGR, and this is the little one from Needlework Press, and they're both in here. Uh, totally worth the price, it's $30. The chart is super readable, uh, very nicely done, and um, I immediately kitted this thing up and started working on it. I committed completely and fully because I did the entire border, which of course isn't that hard of a border, but I did go all the way around, which usually is not the case. I usually just work a little bit of the border and then some motifs and work down this way and more motifs and work more of the border because it's usually more intense. So here's where I'm at. Look how sweet this is and look at the beautiful colors. So I did do a little bit of modification and these are hand dyed fibers. Um, I picked a different red. Theirs was more terracotta and I'm not the biggest terracotta fan. I mean, there's some terracottas I really like, but overall I don't. Where are, here they are. So, and the other thing, so I have some hand dyed fiber spools. You can see the colors. This is a really great color which is the stem, I'll show you to you again. This blue is so bright. So you have a really interesting mix of very soft, mild colors, and then, you know, some, some stronger bright colors. And then here's what's on the floss tags. So the problem I ran into was there's a white and there's an ecru. This is charted in DMC. So, hold on. Here's the white. And here's the ecru. I don't know if you can see, there is a little bit of a color difference, just not when you start stitching with it. So right here is where they're right next to each other. This, this one and this one. And you couldn't, it was just a big blob of white. This is the ecru color. So what I did was I looked around and I just picked a really, really soft, tender peach. And I will use peach when I need to and ecru where I think I want ecru. So this, this should have been all in ecru and it's, I put it in peach. And you can see like here, her face, of the little bossy lady, would have been white or ecru and then with the white, white hat on it or hair, but I think it's hat or whipped cream, I don't know. But anyway, so it would have just been all white. She would have looked like a ghost. And that's not, that's not the look I'm going for. So I'm, I'm modified just a little bit. The red is redder, or not terracotta, and peach. So. And I'm enjoying this. This uh, linen is 40 count linen from Hand Dyed Fibers. I don't, I don't think the tag was on it, but this is a substantial linen. This is really, really thick. And I was trying to stitch in hand, which I did in the border, and that was fine because the stitches aren't on top of each other. But the minute I got to like this, stitching in hand didn't work anymore. It's, it's just too tight, uh, too densely woven, this linen. And it it's, has a really lovely hand, and I think it looks really lovely as well. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I just needed to put it in a hoop bin. And instead of the sewing method, I had to switch to the, what's that, stitch and stab or poke and stab? Something like that. My stitches generally look better when I use a hoop other way around, and poke away. So this again goes into hibernation for the month of May. 
All right. Do we, yes, let's do Mania. Um, really excited about it. Uh, it's my first first time through. Michelle Cozy Egg I did her Mania video. Yes, I watched it yesterday and I got a big case of the FOMO, the fear of missing out because she's doing sampler mania. And I was like, oh, and I have so many beautiful sampler patterns. And um, she's continuing working on what she's working on now, but added a few um, samplers to either start or continue working on. And it's, she has some beautiful ones and I have most of them and kitted up and ready to go. So I was like, okay, no, nope. <laughs> stick with your plan. And my plan has changed. So let's, let's talk about it. Let me pull this up. So overall, I remember I showed you all my little littles in the basket, some kitted, some not, and I thought I would start one every day. And then as I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, you know, I have this and I have that. And where did I put that one? I thought I had something like, anyways. So, you know, I was remembering all my other kits and, and, and smalls that I, I really loved. So I went digging again and I changed things a little bit, not too much, uh, but also the number that I want to start. So basically I will have five weekday, we'll put that in quotes, weekday starts. And then the weekends I'll go rotate through them again and give them some more love. Um, but since Mania started on a Friday, for me that's my weekend already because I don't work Fridays, um, I was like, okay, so how do I want to tackle this? So I thought I would start two on Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday, and that one on Sunday gets love all Sunday long. I, I don't really have hours and hours to stitch, but you know, what, whatever I'm stitching, I will focus on one thing on Sunday, and then... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, work on the other four. So each one gets gets an evening to work on. And then it's Friday again, and the new week starts, and I will start five new projects. So overall, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm shaking the table. Overall, it'll be 20, down from 31, plus, 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 whatever I had in my basket. So uh, we'll do 20, and I think that's reasonable. And some are a little bit more involved, and some are less involved. I think all of them are small-ish. And um, so some of you seen, and some of, you, some of it you haven't. So I have two of them tucked into this bag, and this is a bag that I did not make. It, ha it's, it has a little bit of canvas, which I really like. I like the feel of this bag. And this is from, I've got this on an unload, uh, stash unload side, Diddly Daddle Designs. A Diddly Daddle Designs. And in here, my first start was the Sewn and Friendship collaboration by Heartstring Samplery and Plum Street Samplers. I, I stuck them all in one bag. It doesn't come that way, it's, it's two separate patterns. But I'm considering it one start. So um, I believe I'm gonna do the first set apart. So I'm gonna stitch this, but in two separate pieces. And I have picked 40 count vintage country mocha. And this is as far as I got. Um, I think it calls for 36 count Confederate gray, which is a lovely, lovely color. I didn't have any, I think I have 46 count confederate gray so is that what I have okay so I, no hold on I have weeks 46 count but this is R&R &R 36 count I definitely don't have it in R&R &R, so I just picked what I had what I thought the colors looked good on and this is my start so and most of I have most of the called fours I even blinged out my my floss so there it is this is a a bling -a -ling from Samplings of memories. She does beautiful, beautiful floss tags or floss jewelry. I don't know what you're calling it. I don't know what these are called. I do know, but as happens with when you get in front of a camera and talk to nobody, <laughs> things just slip your mind. So most of them are the called fours. Uh, I think here the uh, this what's this one? 
no, ruby slipper is called for copper. I think it's called for terracotta. I didn't have terracotta, but I do have copper, and it's a very similar color. And then it called for Meredith, Meredith's pink, and I didn't have that, so I put in Chablis from Weeks Dye Works, and it called for something white. I don't know which one it was, but I just took whatever I had, which is, I seem to have an excess of whitewash. So, but it works, and we're sticking with it. So that's the first one. And I love, I'm really liking it so far already. The next one that, well, I haven't, I haven't worked on it, but it's the small sampler, third small sampler by you and I. And I'll pull it out one more time. This is on 40 count. We just saw this, but this is a manageable one. So this would be nice if I got it done. And it's fun. I think the sheep have knots in it, French knots and there's some lazy daisy, but elongated stitches. So where's that piece of paper? Goodness gracious me. Oh, here it is. So this is pretty see-through. And here we are. This is done with anchor flosses. So I'll just work on filling the bottom in and then stitching the tree. And then all I would have left is to finish up the over one alphabet and put the sheep in. So we'll see how far I get, but I really do like it. Okay, so that was that I'm going to work on on Sunday. That'll be my Sunday continuation. I've already decided. Then, is everything in? Almost everything. Oh yes, and I did get my hair cut. That, this hair needs to be cut about every five weeks. It was six weeks since it got cut. And seriously, it starts like sticking out over here, over my glasses. And um, I have a, on this side, I have a pretty good um, cowlick right here. And so when the hair grows longer, it, <laughs> So my, um, the gal that cuts my hair cuts from her house and so I went there with mask and she cut my hair, which was very, very sweet of her. Okay, the next two projects are living in my bee bag and I actually had this already, my little felted woolen bee and so she dangles around here and I think she's so, so cute and is perfect for the bag. So the first one, in this one, and this is the one I started also yesterday, is the Patience Sampler by, oops, you gotta put that there, Hands to Work. And that one, I can't show you the photo because it's gone, but I can show you what I have started. This, what, I, what you're gonna see is the whole reason I'm stitching the sampler. And I'm already done with it, not the sampler, with the whole reason, I'm done with the whole reason. And now I'm going, okay, and I have to stitch the rest of it, but I will, because it's super cute. But here are the colors, and here's the bunny that I have fallen madly, crazily in love with. So this is on 40 count vintage Palomino. That is a lakeside linen uh, that is no longer available. And let's see if we can, the sun has come and gone. It's a, a rainier day here, which is, really good we need it so badly our soil has cracked already um we have drought conditions here in germany believe it or not it's, it's just crazy so these are these are the colors so we've gotten a little bit of rain these last couple of days and um usually because i'm an outdoor person you know i'm always like it's raining but now i'm like oh, it's raining it's it's raining keep raining keep just keep it up it's it's what we need all right there is that. And the other project that is in this is also a new stash, new haul, is the Rose Bouquet Kit from Samplers Not Forgotten. And this is a full coverage piece. It's not very big, but I think it's very, very beautiful. And it sort of makes me feel, it's sort of French, you know, more French or English. But anyways, um, I, so this was a full kit. It's got the finishing, the linen, it's got, oh, we're not seeing that part. Has the um, flosses and it has a little, 
bag with the ribbon and the pretty, pretty pearls. So we'll see what I'm supposed to do with that once I get done. But I'm gonna hold up, I put the flosses on a Saju floss card because I felt it was appropriate for this project. And usually I'm really not uh, that kind of a foo-foo girl. I always admire others that can do it and have all their act together to have the right bag and the right floss jewelry and you know all that. It's not necessarily me. But when I can, I, I enjoy also being very coordinated. So this is what the colors look like. And this is the velveteen of the pillow. Very, really pretty. This is my color palette. And so I'm excited to start this this afternoon. Happy day. That would be start number three. There it goes. All right, that's this bag. And then the fifth little project I am going to be working on. Hold on, this has got to go back in the bag. There we go, and this has to join it. Keeping things tidy, because the cleanup after is always oh, mind-blowing. Okay, so we just visited this little pouch, which has the birds of the feather Santas in it. And so I have settled on doing the, oh, poor Santa. Red Santa. He doesn't look so angry. Which one, which Santa looked so angry? Oh, can't show you. The Black Santa. I thought Black Santa looked a little severe. He's like, er, coming to get ya. But he's holding no lump of coal, so I guess it's okay. All right. This is, I think, a week's cocoa. Michelle and I discussed it this morning during our Stitch Together um, call. Anyway, so this is Weeks. This is the one I have done. And here are the colors for Red Santa. Now Red, I think all the, all the Santas have a little bit of metallic in them, and I am choosing to forego that. I think, oh, no, I have it all. Ooh, that one's un become, coming undone. So let's see here and here. And then there's these two. I think they're the, this is the face, the two DMCs. We'll drop those. And here are, how about I flip it to where no Santa is. And then he's not distracting us. Did I lose the red? Because it looks like I, I did indeed. There it is. So these are the colors. And I have decided that they will each be inhabiting their own real estate, which means I'm going to be doing them, finishing them into pillows. That's the last one for this week. So the plan is then to come back next week and show you the progress and show you the next five that I am going to be working on and hopefully maybe some more haul as it's slowly winging its way over across the ocean. Now, the haul that did arrive, I was very excited about. It, there is quite a bit still missing. What I didn't realize, so usually for my market order, my initial market order, I go with a strawberry sampler. I think the girls do such a great job. And I guess what happened this year, and I did not read that, um, and I'm sure they wrote it, but I didn't read, um, was that they something happened, I don't know what, but they did not attend market. They were planning on it, but then, you know, probably the virus um, put a halt to their plans. And so a lot of stuff that I had ordered, they didn't attend, so they didn't get it. They had to wait till the designers got home and things were mailed. And so when they mailed me my stuff, it was, a portion of it and so there's quite a bit missing among you know some linens threads patterns but it's okay so a good a good chunk came and an attic order came and my LNS order came so I've got a pile now the first we'll do the market we'll do market first I'll um, let me sort real quick 
because I just have it piled together. Okay. Oh, la, 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 la. There it is. Yes. Okay. All right. Then let's start. And you've seen everything before, so this is no, like, oh, you yeah. know. But nonetheless, I'll show you. So I'll partially cover up the pattern, but I think it's a freebie. Anyways, this is... These are the new Classic Color Works colors, and they sent out a freebie pattern, which I probably will not stitch, but, um, or maybe one day, but different colors. So um, I think they're very pretty. It's Legionnaire. I didn't even take them out yet because they were waiting for you guys. But you probably know them. But it's okay. So, oh, Lighthouse. Chesapeake Bay and Mariner's Compass. Lighthouse, Chesapeake Bay, and Mariner's Compass. These are pretty darn close, but one's, one's a little darker. And then I also got all the new colors from Weeks Dye Works. I did not get the General Arts colors because they weren't listed on the website. So I didn't know um, what colors had come out and I wasn't able to order them, but of course, I can always catch up, not a big deal. Ooh. Okay. So let's see here. They came out with quite a few colors. So we got lavender. Here's lavender, banana, banana pudding, Yukon gold, blue. Wade, Arrowhead, there's a few colors that are quite similar, and Lily Pad, that's a nice one. I bet you this Lily Pad could sub very nicely for Oscar, which seems to be nowhere to be found anymore. A lot of patterns are using Oscar, and that's one that can hardly be found. And if you have Endive from um, General Arts in your stash, that also is a very good sub for Oscar. All right, that goes there. Then, Brenda Gervais. Like everybody else, I got a ton of Brenda Gervais. The Berry Keeper, which I think is darling. I didn't realize she was stitched over one, but that is no obstacle for me. Uh, and even if it was, then I could stitch her over two. That's not a problem. Love the little tomato, it's oh, so cute. The whole thing is just, is just darling. Darling. Oh, shuffle it this way. Token, yeah, token of love. Um, so I uh, got the materials with it, but as you can see, the blue is missing, so I'm holding off. I think this one is, the color combo is so fantastic. I also ordered the little set of drawers. We'll have to wait on that. Noah's Ark Christmas 6. So I have here Noah's Ark Christmas 3. And I started stitching this over one because Terry from Chocolate for Breakfast, and she's only on Instagram, stitched hers over one vertically. Is that right? Vertically, yes. And it looked, it was to die for. And I'm like, that, you know, that's what I'm doing. And so then I ordered... So I have three. I did the freebie off uh, Paulette's blog. And then I ordered two, four, five, and six. Because this is seven. Did I say it was six? No, it is a six. So two, four, and five I ordered from, I won't say, but I ordered it <laughs> in December. And it's May. And they haven't they haven't sent it. There, there was it was a large order. I've, I've talked about it. I, I, this really frustrates me because I just think you know. First of all, you need to communicate. Second of all, no order should have to wait five months before you even get it in the mail. That is that is completely unacceptable. So, I saw a nice sale. I reordered. Uh, good amount of patterns that were on this particular order and I just wrote to them and said listen these are the patterns I no longer need I have now reordered them from somebody else thank you so much 
And I also told them, I was very nice about it. I mean, I didn't say you should have sent the stuff. I just said, hey, I already reordered them. And I will let you know on the other stuff if I should happen to order it somewhere else before you get to send it out. So I just hope that they get going and send, send the rest of it. All right. Uh, rant over. Sorry. Here is uh, the Chesimi Quaker Huswife. Totally fell in love with it when I saw people stitching it that went to Country Sampler last summer. I got the threads and I also had the fabric on order and that hasn't made it yet so I'll just have to wait but I have plenty, plenty. Harriet & Co. All of them, every single one of them is so stinking cute. So from Brenda Gervais, no plans to start her. What is this called? Souvenirs of the Heart. Star Spangled Spectacular. And it's small, but it is spectacular. It really is. I just watched um, Luminous Fiber Arts, Misty Purcell, her latest video. And she was saying that she was rotating through whips and she said, you know, I realized that if I spend an hour on a whip, I, make, I can make even significant progress in an hour. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I barely get settled in an hour, but that's beside the point. And so she had worked on this for two hours on one of her beautiful hand-dyed fabrics. Um, and in two hours, she stitched the whole flag, some of this pole, the bird, the vine. She got some of the house. Uh, she definitely got this part done and then probably the outline. I'm like, Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Not here. Okay, here also I, <laughs> so I ordered uh, Manor at Quaker Hill from the attic because it wasn't in my original order because I was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna stitch that. And so it's, it's okay. And of course you see people stitching it and you look at it about you know 12,000 times and you're like, okay, I'm totally in love with this. How does that happen? So I went ahead and ordered it. My plan is I got some 40 count uh, Fawn Picture This Plus. It's one of the new colors from Picture This Plus for this year. So I got that from Jen Stitching Niche and it is, it is a really pretty color. Now let me hold this other piece that I just got from Oh no, there's a difference. Like, oh, they're similar. I just got uh, some linen from the Victorian Motto. And this is the regular vintage sampler. Let's hold that up. But yeah, you can see this is a little little pinker than that one. Beautiful fabric. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute again. So, vintage, no, fawn, excuse me, 40 count fawn. And I think it'll go well with, um, with the colors. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the, of the green in the background, so I think this is a good, good match. And I pulled all the um, called for colors, and then I converted them to silk. And I think I got pretty close, um, but we'll see when I start stitching. So, and you know how messy the silks are, so I'm not gonna hold them up because it's going to be a chore and a half to try and uh, hold them and show you. I got the Celebrate book from Teresa Kogut. Really well done book. Great charts in there, big and readable, and there's 15 designs, and I would say from those 15, there are about two that I probably wouldn't stitch. And if you're a Halloween fan, and there's a whole 15 in there. Um, Halloween it just isn't, this isn't my holiday, which is okay. I like some of the aspects um, of, I have a piece, okay, there we go. Sorry, I had a piece of floss, silk floss stuck to my fingers. Um, so I like some of the aspects of Halloween. I don't like, I like the pumpkins. <laughs> okay, that's about it. I'll, and I like the candy corn. Um, not, a, not anymore. I used to love, love, love candy corn and probably OD'd on it, so. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. Um, anyhow, so if you like Halloween, then there are really 15. Speaking of Teresa, I also got their pet, got her pet all the dogs. I just, oh my gosh, yeah, okay, you know, I'll 
that was a given that I was going to get that. Now, what I want to do on this one is, you see that little doggy, uh, border doggy? Um, I'm going to turn her a dark gray color, blackish gray, and make her just a tad longer. So I may have to adjust a little bit, but that's going to be a row of dachshunds. They're pretty close to the dachshund already, but not quite. So I want to make her a stitch longer. I think a stitch longer, and then her tail won't be down, but it'll be curled up. So we'll have a border of Millie's, and Mia's going to be up here somewhere. And let's see what I do with the other dogs. But I think it's, it's fantastic. Those trees and that angel, the house... It's all good. It's all good. The border is interesting. This one's gonna be a lot of stitching down here. So, but okay, I'll, I'll do it. But you really, if I didn't want to, I could just as easily leave that bottom border off and it would be fine, I think. So stitch all the, stitch all the dogs, pet all the dogs. I also got her, I already put it in a project bag. And I've decided it's gonna be my Christmas start. And I'm ready. So I got Faith, Hope, Peace and Love. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, that's a must stitch for me. Must, must stitch. I will, nothing against cats. Don't think I'm, I'm against cats, but I'm gonna take that shadow cat out here. Um, that cat will stay, but she's gonna get not glowy eyes, but normal eyes, I think. We'll, we'll, find, we'll see, because she's got white eyes, and that's a little weird. Um, and this cat. I'm going to take these two cats out and, uh, you know, turn this dog into Mia and Millie being the dachshund. She can go underneath the tree. Um, so, beautiful, beautiful sampler. I kitted it up with um, hand-dyed fibers, and I'm just going to leave them in there and you can see sort of the, the, let's see if we can't just roll all these on the side so you can see them better. But I think they'll all work on the fabric. So I plucked out one of my, um, that's morning coffee by. Now, Michelle pronounced it X U. X U D or X no J U designs. I call her X Jude designs. I don't think it matters. But I was like, oh, am I pronouncing her incorrectly? Okay, let's see. So I have kind of popped everything to the side. And those are the colors that I'm going to stitch it in. And here is the the fabric. Sorry, one minute. Millie, Millie. Uh uh. They hear, they think they hear something and they have to let me know that there was imminent danger outside of my living room door. So it's just daddy. Stop. Stop. I'm going to let them out for one minute. They'll probably come back and cry at the door, but that's just too bad. Out you go. Come on, out. There. Okay. All right. The dog's gone. Then, where did I shift all this? Okay, so here it is. So I got the... I talked. To, I already picked this up. The fabric from Victoria and Motto. I also. This is forty count, and I also got a forty six count. I'm not sure if you know it's supposed to be the same color because it's not, of course. But it could also be. Yes, it is the same color. It's just forty six count picks it up a lot differently than forty count, which is which is the case. But um, so I love them both. And her Fabric of the Month Club, so worth doing. So worth doing. Then, oh, Laura, uh, so Brenda and the Serial Starter, Laura did a, 
la dee da stash dive. And it happened that my LNS, the stitch nurse, was having a little sale, so I was like, I'll go have to get me some la dee da's. I have some la dee da's, but I'll have to get me some more la dee da's. So let's go through them. A happy life sampler. What I like about la dee da is a lot of times it's stitched, it's uh, charted in DMC and it doesn't have a ton of colors. And they're of the size where you're like, if I start this, likelihood is I'm going to finish it. Oh, awake my soul. That is so pretty. She does have a number of um, samplers that have a Christian theme to them. And of course, I love that. Me and you. This is so sweet. This is so sweet. And if I didn't have a gazillion things I wanted to start for Mania, this would definitely be right there. And this one too, a Merry Christmas sampler. So darling, really pretty. It's got five colors, four colors. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. GMC, fantastic. And this one, la di da my country. So I actually did uh, kit this one up with the hand-eyed fibers. So there's a, Vicky did a nice conversion chart from DMC to hand-eyed fibers. This is what I, oh man. Okay, this is, hopefully nobody saw that long enough. Uh, this is what I picked and I'm going to, this is going to be a mania start. Um, I have some fabric I've decided on, sort of. I would have to antique it afterwards, which is which I would like to try, so I think this is a good project to try it on. And then Ann Powell, also because of Brenda and the serial starter when they looked at Pineberry Lane. So she is, I love her. I just love her. And I love the two dogs right underneath her, right here. <sighs> So, so nice. Then the correct sampler came from Sassy Jacks. This is Marianne Frain, 1796. I think she's lovely, really lovely. Adam and Eve, that always appeals to me. I really like the two deer holding the, the banner right there. And there's two doggies, can't go wrong with that. The berry baskets are gorgeous, and I really love the hearts. So lots of, oh, I don't know if this is an ostrich or, it's hard to see in the camera. It actually looks like a patriotic bird, like a patriotic ostrich, because there's red, then the neck is bluish, and we got white. So can't beat that. It's all good. It's not a super big sampler. And I'm really, really anxious to pull the colors and see. I really want, I want to look into this and see because it looks, the baskets look to be satin stitched. There's more satin stitching in it. And I want to see if it was charted that way. Hold on. Let's do that together. These fold over bags. I can't get it out. I really can't. Let's see here. Come on. Ugh. Well, okay. I was going to say, we could watch me struggle all this time. Oh, here's a, here's a, here's a big picture of it. Do you see the baskets? They look all satin stitched. And the flowers next to the heart are definitely satin stitched. So, really nice. Let's look at, yep, yeah, it's charted for satin stitch. Nice. Awesome. I like that kind of stuff. The last couple things are the labels from Heartstring Samplery. I really like the angel stuff. I am so lucky that my children really dig my stitching, and so this will come in handy to avoid any disagreements so they'll be all labeled um, I got some of the lady dot creates why I got two pieces of Arctic 
or polar ice. I don't know, but there they are. I only ordered, well, I intended to order one, but I got two. So, and this is crushed berry and, yeah, polar ice, velveteen. Lovely colors. Um, where else? Well, oh, and some thread bling from Becky's Socks for Moms. So I got this in anticipation of the, whoopsie, there we go, of the Mayflower anniversary coming up. I just saw the Brenda Gervais sampler. I think it's very, very cute. Um, I don't think I'll do the stitch along this year, A, because it's not gonna get to me. I, I don't even wanna frustrate myself and think I want, I want to stitch along with everybody because I'll be three weeks behind before it gets to me. So I'll just, I won't stitch it this year, but I will stitch it because I think it's very, very cute. This is just a little girl stitching dark-haired little girl with the scissor and this one I love love Lily so of course this was for Lily's but that pattern didn't make it either and I wasn't gonna start it so I think it's general enough just to hang on something okay do we finished got it done all right friends I just hope um, that you guys are well and of good spirits. Um, I was thinking of something maybe to share with you of the culture from over here. Um, so I thought I'd talk about, well, I made a move to finish, but now I'm not going to finish. I'm just gonna talk about, sorry about that. I'm gonna talk about like work life versus family life and how it's viewed here, of course, I think most of you probably heard that you get a lot more vacation time here. I work 80% of the time, so I get 80% of the vacation, which turns out to be five weeks. As people usually get six weeks vacation here. So I'm at five weeks. Um, and then of course the holidays. So I live in a state, the state of Hessen, where we have the least amount of holidays of all of Germany. The state of Bavaria has the, and that's right next door to us, has the most amount of holidays because they celebrate all the Catholic holidays. It's a predominantly Catholic state and they've decided to, that all the Catholic holidays are statewide holidays. And so on a holiday here in Germany, things are closed, closed. I mean, so the restaurants are open, food and beverage is open, um, that's it. Everything else is closed. Um, so yesterday was a holiday. Yesterday was Friday, May 1st. That is our Labor Day here. And I don't work Fridays usually, but the way it breaks down is that since it's a paid holiday and I work 80% of the time, I get 80% of that holiday to take off like the day before or the day after or whatever is an agreement with my boss. So I can take, for example, I took most of Thursday off. Um, I worked, well, if I'd worked only the 20%, I would have worked an hour and 15 minutes, but I worked probably three hours, which was fine. Um, so that is really nice. So any holiday that falls during my normal day off, I still get it compensated, so to say. Um, they also are really good about, you know, if you're working out, if, if your business is open till five, then really five is quitting time and the building will be empty within five minutes after five. I mean, people go home and I, I really like that. Um, and it's not that we don't work any overtime. There are times when I work a lot of overtime. And so because I work for a charity, you know, I know I'm not going to get paid for my overtime hours. I can take time off for my overtime hours, but if I took that much time off, it would it would be a lot. And so since we you know get all this vacation time already and then to pile on overtime hours, I take some of it off. I don't I don't donate all my all my overtime hours, but the majority, the bulk of my overtime hours, I just donate to to the cause and and call it good. I also get um, and this is a Dutch rule, this is not a German rule, so but because I and I'm and you guys, what does Netherlands have anything to do with that? 
my the international group is based out of the, the Netherlands so the German law applies to me because I work in Germany but there are extra benefits they get in the Netherlands and they feel like it's only fair that these are extended also to me who is sitting in Germany and so in the Netherlands if you are over 50 you get an extra vacation day because obviously you need it if you're over 55 you need two extra days of vacation time and if you're over 60 you need three days and I'm not sure if they go over 65 or not but maybe they do so I do get two extra days of vacation and the other thing they do is if you don't call if you are sick less than a week so if you don't call in sick for over a week you get an extra day every three months so every three months if you haven't had any sick time or if you had less than five days sick time you get an extra day vacation so you get another four days possible vacation which adds up for me to a whole nother week so I'm at six weeks of vacation plus I think we have I haven't counted them seven or eight holidays nine eight nine I don't know but so it you know it's nice it really is nice and I really enjoy this a little bit more relaxed casual work atmosphere um, that we have over here so that is a little insight to our work life vacation life it was really more all about vac it's all about vacation don't, don't you know <laughs> no no kidding and in in Holland so the Germans don't do it quite like that but in Holland um, and I mentioned it again because all my work most of my work colleagues are in Holland they take at least three or four weeks in one in one stretch they they do a really long vacation and then the rest of the vacation is taken throughout the year I agree with that I think it's really important to step back and really come down and really chill and and relax so um, I think that's a very very good thing all right, and I know some of you are on forced vacation now and you've had you know six weeks and you're probably saying, well, that was lovely and I'm so ready to get back to work. And I really hope that that day comes very soon for all of you that are home involuntarily. All right, I send you lots of blessings and many, many good thoughts. And I hope until we see each other again, hopefully Friday or Saturday, that you stay happy, healthy, and terrific. And don't forget to mention your LNS. Talk to you later.